Well, I'm very passionate about this cause and I have been for a very long time. And I think the great thing about my story is I didn't start training for the Olympics or anything at a young age. I was just active. And that's actually how I found out that I had the potential to be an Olympian. And so I think the great thing that I can do and everyone can do is just use our voice, get the word out there, share the message, um, and just continue this great work that's being done. I think it's one of the most critical health priorities we should have this time. Uh, we continue to get more inactive, we engineer opportunities for physical activity out of our daily lives, and our health is suffering globally. Uh, six to ten percent of all chronic disease deaths are due to physical inactivity, and we have to reverse that trend. So during our panel we had a number of really uh, eye-opening statistics uh, about the problem, so hopefully the audience shared uh, a lot of that. And uh, you know, for us it's all about uh, telling our community what's going on in the world, uh, bringing attention to issues, looking at what uh, people that have a tremendous platform like Allison uh, are doing for the cause and then looking at what a huge brand like Nike uh, is doing in the social good space to, to really promote the issue. So for us it's uh, continuing to pay attention from an editorial perspective and then having events like this one, the Social Good Summit, which really highlight these issues uh, in front of our audience around the world. I think technology is part of the solution. I don't think it's the problem. I think. The the new platforms, whether it's you know communication socially uh, around the world, or whether it's actually using technology to inform uh, or measure the rate of activity. I mean, we have a product out now in the fuel band that is starting to do that, and I think you will see a lot more of that coming into the marketplace today. And I think the consumers are going to embrace it.